What I would love for everybody to understand about a surrogacy process is that even though there's so many mixers and tinkers, at the core it's like this magical thing called life. And that's what this is all about. Guess where we are? We're at the airport on our way because the babies are coming early. And yeah. so here we are in LaGuardia about to board the plane. So you're going to be an auntie. Hey, love. It's going to be sooner. This is crazy. My name is Rike, and this is my husband, Antonio. I always knew that I was going to be a dad. I never thought about the process, but I really knew that I wanted to be a dad and that I was going to be a dad. All right. Are you excited? I am. These are the last steps that you're going to have as a non-dad. I know. So Rike and Antonio I've known for many years. And I, you know, I remember having conversations about their dreams to be parents and, and how they envisioned it and wanting two children and ideally wanting a boy and a girl. Finally, one day, we came, sat down in my office and said, OK, let's talk about this. How does this work? There are so many, so many misconceptions about surrogacy, egg donors and all that stuff. So I said, OK, we can get an anonymous egg donor. I collect the eggs and I can take half her eggs and fertilize it with Antonio's sperm and half her eggs and fertilize it with Rike's sperm. And now we have biologic embryos from both of you that have the biologic link of the egg as well. Once we were done with the embryo process, we found Conceivabilities, our surrogacy agency, and we went through the application process. It has to be extremely overwhelming. Like, how do I find somebody who now wants to carry a pregnancy for me? There are wonderful agencies that this is their job and their role is recruiting gestational carriers, doing some basic medical screening. They have legal teams involved, and they basically are major facilitators in the process. At some point, the embryos have to be transported out of New York and into a state where it's legal to actually do the implant. kind of sweetly, you guys might want to book your flights right now. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> what is exactly happening? It's just like, yeah, um, I have preeclampsia, so the doctor thinks you should come now. And I was like, wait, no, what is preeclampsia? She's like, I'm not sure, so I'm going to Google it, so maybe you should Google it. <laughs> so I said, well, I'm going to hang up right now. You talk to the doctor. Um, and so I called Shiva, our embryologist, who got us through this whole thing. She said, it's totally normal, but pack your bags. And so we booked a flight, and here we are. I'm sure for Rike and Antonio, there was, you know, there's such anxiety around, like, it's not our body. We're not in control of it. We're not there at all times either, and these are our babies. When are they doing the Pitocin again? What time? At 8, my time. You need to, like, run, like, uh, Macaulay Coke and Like, stuff. I think I'm going to call Atlanta police and get, or the state police and get a police escort. <laughs> All right, love, hang in there. All right, love you. Love you, love bye. You. See you soon. Bye. Yes. Oh, Luckily, which I forgot, they're an hour behind us because we're in Atlanta still, so nothing started, so we're still kind of ahead of the game. Hi. Hi. What's going on? How are you? I'm going to get a C-section after you all get here. What? Yeah. What happened? I'm thinned out, but I still haven't really dilated any. So they're going to do the C-section when we get there? Yeah, they're, it's not an emergency. They're right. just not going to put me through Pitocin when my blood pressure's not really getting back down. Okay. 
I haven't been pregnant in 10 years. My daughter will be 10 in July. She's my one and only. You think about, you know, helping somebody else. You can't have babies of their own, obviously, um, whether that's same sex or a female who can't have their own. And you're like, oh, I would love to do this. And then it gets closer and closer to delivery. And you're like, oh my gosh, I have not delivered in 10 years. Like, they have to come out of me. You kind of forget about that whole part when you're thinking about, you know, how exciting it is to be able to help somebody else. All right, love you, and I'll, I'll call you in like an hour or so. All right, bye. Okay. Woof. That's the update. We thought that it was really, really far when we started all this process 40 years ago. In less than an hour, <laughs> probably, you're going to be, yeah, you're going to be a dad, and I'm going to be a dad too. Sometimes it feels better for a minute when I sit up, but my epidural is not working. Wow, heartbeats, and they're like, they're like neck and neck. Yeah, both of them at the same time. I'm going inside. Are you ready? Uh, no, I'm not. Are you sure you don't want to come with me? No, I'm not allowed. Uh, conveniently. Yeah. You're going to be the first one that sees the baby? How amazing is that? It's just so overwhelming that I cannot even think about what is about to happen. We are going to have two babies right now. Love you guys. Love you. Love There was this loud, strong, lung-filled cry that pierced through my soul. It felt like everything around me was tingly, and I just lost it. And then because I knew that Luca was coming in second, I was listening to his, and then once I heard his, it was the same exact pull. And there is nothing in the world I've ever heard, ever, 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 close to that. I've never had a C-section before, so, you know, you don't know what to expect. The babies came out a minute apart from each other. It's just kind of wild how they're twins, but not twins, and they're the same, you know, the exact same weight, the exact same height, but I was just relieved when they came out to know that they were okay, you no know, NICU time. They got to go straight to their daddies. They are so gorgeous. I can't obviously express how grateful and blessed we are to have found her. And how selfless her gift of all of this is. And her complete, genuine, authentic persona, which makes her perfect for this. The last 24 hours felt like a week and a half. No joke. Yeah. I'm not exaggerating yeah. Yeah. at all. But it's like that Aerosmith song, I don't want to miss a thing. I don't want to close my eyes. Like, literally, that's how I felt all night long, as tired as I was. I just didn't want to stop.
it's impossible to explain what, what, what you feel. It's just having these two babies that are part of yourself and are going to be with you for the rest of your life. So beautiful. You just want to be with them. It's overwhelming. It's, it's beautiful. I love those two babies. I mean, I always will. It's just kind of surreal that they're here because surrogacy is such a long process that when they're finally here, you're like, oh my gosh, it's finally here. They're here. I've never experienced anything like this before. So if anybody has any kind of stigma or any kind of preconceived notion about what the connection between you and your surrogate child is, it's incredible. Bless you. We're ready to go when you're ready to go. Perfect. I mean, they look really small, but they are still big for you. When you're pregnant, you know, you're fixing up a nursery, you're having baby showers, you're buying all these things and doing all these things to prepare for a baby. And so when you're a surrogate, it's really weird to not have to do all of those things. I gotta at least get a picture holding the both of you, you know. It's such a long process. And you know, you've got to be in the right mindset. You know, not everybody can be a surrogate. I've had people say, oh my gosh, are you giving your baby away? And I'm like, it's not my baby to give away. I'm extreme babysitting. You're tooting, you're hiccuping, okay. You know, to know that you're growing somebody else's family and then you're going to birth them and then pass them over and then they're going to go home. Remember how tiny they were? They were the size of peanuts. It's so amazing, so beautiful, the whole scene of us being parents with these two babies. Nobody can prepare you for this love. They're just so happy. That's just all I wanted for those two. <laughs> it's been a really long process, four years, more than four years. For me, it, it seems like it was really easy, that it's been really, really fast and it's been completely the opposite. So you just forget about everything, forget about the process. Once you just hold them, it's just so magical. They are just here and this is the rest of your life. <laughs>